Alright guys and welcome back to episode 4 of my Going Medieval gameplay series. So in the last episode we got the warehouse constructed um, as well as fighting off a raid that um, had come to take our newest member Joanne who is now come to be settling in settling into a redwood village um, and is leveling up skills such as construction and botany uh, using that to build our warehouse and to grow our uh, small little field uh, but our fields are producing a lot of food already we've got cabbages from the cabbage field here but we've got beetroots on the way trees on the way berries barley flax and herbs oh no flax and this is the herbs so we're well on the way to get into summer. In fact, we're just one day off summer because the game seasons in this um, are 12 days for a season. So we're on day 11. So we're about to go into summer uh, and we're going to be okay because we've got the cellar built here. So it will have cooler temperatures down there, which means we'll store food less um, chance of it rotting quickly at least it was the rot which is frustrating but at least not as quickly so now the workers are just filling up this warehouse with uh the stuff out here we're getting meat smoked kin is busy hunting the rabbits everything's going really good and actually i can just leave the game on full speed and just let let things happen so here you can actually see the smoked meat that's being produced it actually comes on a nice rack uh, clearly distinguishable as a smoke, smoke meat and you can see at this temperature it's going to uh, decompose in two years so it lasts ages and you can see down here in the cellar 9.2 uh, degrees celsius I'm going to actually expand the cellar now I'm going to dig what's frustrating is I want to obviously dig down to the next level so to do that I will have to actually no I I can dig inside here the dig down here place staircase and then we can have another deeper cellar that actually is at the very bottom here it should be much cooler because it's quite far far below and it also gives us more storage space so not only is it cooler so the, the food will rot slower it also gives us more storage space because yeah once we get all this food in the beetroots uh, the barley and the, and the cabbages we're gonna have we can have so much fucking food but these berries are growing so fast such available furniture brewing I think I'm gonna get brewing done because we're getting the barley soon so I want to get this ready f for when that that's that's done and this is going to be the last building we have in this small uh, food preparation area. I also want to get mining set up because I want clay for certain buildings and I also want some limestone as well. So we've got a clay pit there. We've got clay here. We've also got a bit of iron here. I think that's iron at least. But we can. I can see that the settlers are having poor moods. They've got a red mood. Deprived of religious activities while we're fulfilling religious activities. Slept in uncomfortable bed. So if we get furniture, we'll get the proper bed. Um, but desperately thirsty. I'd kill for a pint or three. And this is the brewery. So thirst um, is to do with the alcohol. So yeah, we do want to get that barley in. Uh, so we can start making our own drinks. But with the brewery... You can actually make wine. We've got beer, which is barley and herbs. Ale, which is just barley. And rough wine, which is red currant. So I'm going to make 20 wine. And 20 ale. And so now we've got Harold, who is making wine with the red currants we've got. So we'll start fulfilling our thirst need as well. So now we've got everything moved out from the previous stockpile into our warehouse. So things are decomposing more so. The, the, the herbs, herbs are decomposing quite fast though in 20 days. Uh, decomposing because of temperature. So, whereas the twigs aren't. So maybe I should... 
move it because it's 8.5 there and it's 20 here. So maybe the herb should move into here. Yeah, there we go. Herbs. Herbs, and I'm going to move it out of here. Because herbs are going to be useful for uh, culinary stuff as well as healing. So we do need the herbs. So now our crops are starting to grow. We've got the flax in. Uh, we've just harvested herbs. It looks like the berries are very close to being done, as well as the, the beetroot. Uh, the trees also look much more grown than in the last few days. So I don't know. I don't know what level they are until they're, they're grown, because surely they can't grow as big as this all next to each other. But maybe they can. We're definitely close to having a harvesting season. So we haven't actually got a table. Uh, oh, it's summer now. So high temperatures uh, and chances of heat waves. So yeah, build underground storage. Keep your food fresh during the hot summer days. So we've done that already. Uh, but what I was about to say is we don't actually have a table for our people to eat. So I want to get a sort of dining hall made. A nice decorative building where the people can hang out um, and it will have a big dining table and maybe uh, leisure activities in there. So this should now help uh, with their mood by the people actually eating at the table. You can see Joanne's already eating at the table. I'm going to straight away get furniture as well because we want to get rid of that debuff uh, on the uncomfortable beds. So we get the wooden hay bed. With that, I can start upgrading, start upgrading these beds. But I, we need the wood first, so I'm going to chop down these trees. I also do want to get more birch tree uh, growing locations up because I, I I feel like why well, I say I feel I'm pretty sure trees don't grow back by themselves you only have the trees you plant so I want to get some more over here just to grow well I've got a rough spot there I can't but get some over here then nice big big zones got this one for now so an eight by eight of birch trees with Fences surrounding it. The so things are progressing nicely. We've got our town centre over here. So I'm gonna get this banner next to that there. We've got our town centre progressing nicely. Um, it doesn't look like we can lay down roads. We could just use, I suppose, the limestone floor, but we have literally no limestone. But now I just need to wait for the dining hall to be made. Uh, then I can start grading all these hay beds. Oh yeah, yeah, again, we're, we're set for a, a long time. Because we're just now relying on getting more research in. It's just like tailoring and, and more cooking stuff. Because everything else we're fulfilling. Food, defense, everything. So you can see the others are busy at work here, uh, getting these new birch trees planted. Um, while Harold is busy building away at the dining hall. And he's actually almost done. You should get some more flooring down and the roof. And then we've got the dining hall up and running. 
We also now have these nice new wooden chairs. So, I will want to get these removed. Yeah, we do need more wood, but then I'm gonna get all these turned into dining chairs and I'm gonna get these beds turned into the uh, proper beds. Here we go, we have got another event. Lefquin had clearly experienced a woodcutting mishap. Would you let them stay and heal? With a 16 melee. Wow. 16 melee. And 8 marksmen with a star. Jeez, they're really good, Marshall. So, Selene's tending. Who's our best healer? We've got Kinna with an 8. And Roderick with an 8. So, yeah, we can get Lefquin healed up. Jobs. Everything else, though, it does seem that Lefquin sucks at. Yeah, everything else, it does seem Lefquin sucks at, though, which is a shame. But the martial skill was really good at. Um, Settlers are unconscious. We will need to go rescue. No, not chopping it down. Carrie said that. There we go. So we don't actually have any weapons or any equipment for Lefquin to use, but what I think I'll do is I'll drop um, Harold's spear or Joanne's sword and we can have Lefquin with a weapon attacking because she's got too good of skills to not be utilizing them. Go, look at this, the dining hall. It's looking fancier than all the other buildings. Um, which it should be. It is one of the main buildings. Uh, we've even got the banner set up outside, which is the wrong fucking way round. Uh, didn't realise that. There we'll get that there. Get that there again. Those are exhausted. What I think I'm going to do, right, is... Before I end this episode, I want to get the plans laid out for what I want to do in the next episode. So I think I want to get this building as a production building, whether it's like a tailor's house or, or um, I don't know, a weapon maker or something like that. Get this building that. And then build a big barracks over here acting as like a dormitory uh, where we have all our um, people sleeping. Because this isn't going to... This hasn't got enough room to sort anyone else. And I also want to get the, the proper bed set up somewhere. So yeah, I think that is what I'm going to do. Uh, how? That leaves, that leaves a decent amount of space, but I want there to be more space. Okay, here we go. This is the barracks and this is good enough for a long, long time actually. This has 10 beds in it. Um, it connects to the keep, so if we're being attacked and we've got people um, like sleeping or anything like that, they're instantly next to the keep. 
to get inside and shoot out from. Yeah, it, it's it's good. The only problem is it doesn't really have any space for tables or anything like that. But that's why we've got the dining hall. Um, with it over here, we can sort of extend the village out, building buildings all the way over here, and sort of if we can get any limestone and making a path that connects us with the, the town center over here so guys i hope you've enjoyed that episode if you did please leave it a like i really appreciate that um and subscribe if you haven't already i plan to do a lot more go medieval content and it'll just help you get notified uh, when i upload more videos uh, if you've got any comments whether it is asking questions or to provide information to my questions or just giving tips maybe you're way ahead of me in the go medieval uh, game and you want to give some help i really appreciate that as well because i love to learn especially from uh, you guys so yeah leave a comment down below if you've got anything you want to add so anyway guys thanks for watching the video and i will see you in episode five